trying some of these deep piles here guys going back to even though we're in the beginning of the spawn a lot of these fish will hang back and some awful big ones they'll stay on the piles a lot longer than you think so here comes one right here that's an easy target right there boom there's our first fish of the day solid eater Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it today. Uh, we are out here with the uh, the king's tail primarily. Now we've got a load of rods in the boat for the spawn because I do think it's important that you bring a little bit of everything um, during the spawn because the fish can be basically doing anything. It could be on, I mean, seriously, shallow, deep, depends where you want to catch them that day. Um, putting a nice number seven split shot on that, that, uh, that bait right there. Using the King's Tail, check it out at Three Pound Fishing. Incredible eight footer for your spawning needs. It has everything you'd ever want in terms of a caster. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue fishing with it for a little bit. We might switch over to the hammer. The hammer is now available, by the way. It went on back order. It is back in full effect and you can get that at threepoundfishing.com as well. So let's do this. Beautiful black crappie right there. Gosh, all tuxedoed up. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, the versatility of the king's tail is pretty awesome. We're sniping them now in the middle of channels uh, we've gone shallow, we've been on structure, uh, we've been all the way up uh, to the bank and still getting it done. So being able to cast to these fish and being comfortable with an eight footer is pretty awesome. So I totally recommend that setup. I'm using sniping braid right now, Comet, almost 100% of the time now on my home lake. And I, I'm not afraid to use it on the big lakes either. So, but sometimes I, I pick that up to maybe an optimized, but either way, the comment from Sniping Braid is unbelievable and I can't emphasize that enough. So we're just moving around right now and uh, trying to locate some fish for the guide service. So if you guys are interested in guides, give me a holler. We still got availability in May. And so, uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go a little shallower now and see if we can't still scope them. Uh, we might do that with the hammer, but I think what I'm gonna do is start it off with the uh, King's Tail again. Big fish here, guys. Bam, beautiful. Look at that. Now everybody has their preference in terms of the rod length that they choose to use. I'm an absolute in love with the 10 footer, but we are throwing the uh, the new uh, King's Tail because it is awesome and it's brand new. I like to show it off too as well. For you guys that love eight footers, this is an ideal rod. Super sensitive, extremely light, um, which is something for me to really get used to. We got a nice school of fish out here. They're just hanging out. Water temperature sitting at 59 degrees. So, you know, there's probably some movement left still at the water temperature before we really get into the spawn, but that's what makes it fun. The pre-spawn is we can catch them just anywhere. And we just got that one. And that is how nice that king's tail is, guys. Great fish here. Great fish. Hmm, right there. Gosh dang, we got one of them too.
All right, so shallow didn't work out. So shallow middle canal did not work out. And uh, that's part of the process. You try things and you, and you, and you see what, where they're at. And right now I can tell you that they're not quite there at 58 degree water temperatures, which makes sense. Sometimes they'll come up if that sun's really popping. But uh, anyway, it's fun. So that's the pre-spawn and we love it. So we're gonna head back. Appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.